everyone. It is day two of my seven day long fast. It's Easter Sunday. By the time this video gets out, it won't be Easter Sunday, but late happy Easter to you. So I'm about 48 hours in and it's been a long time uh, in terms of hitting a 48 hour fast. And by long time, I actually mean like maybe a month, but for me, that's a long time. So I believe I did a fast right before going back to California last month and that was the last time I completed a 48. It feels so good to be back in, uh, in an over 24 hour fasted state. And I would say that I really have not felt hunger yet. I felt a little bit of grumbling for like a slight period of time, but it wasn't bad at all. I would say that I definitely didn't feel like the energy to eat, like I have discussed in my other videos like that strange voice slash like energy to eat did not feel that at all i finally started reading rational recovery and i'm actually really enjoying the book thus far and i'll be sharing as i go along different things that i'm learning and taking away from the book uh, that i could share with you so that we can all you know practice and experiment with different strategies to overcome binge eating and it's crazy to think about that I you know, first started sharing all of my fasting stories and experiences and it has turned into a binging thing. Um, and you know, I feel like the experiences I have are what the average person experiences. So luckily there are a lot of people out there that can relate and have similar experiences and are finding value in this video. So as long as people are finding value, I will continue making them. Yesterday I talked about uh, phenamine, the, the appetite suppressant drug I guess you could say crazy because someone left a comment today how they started taking it about a month ago and I took a little bit less than half of a pill today I am like I know what can happen if I take the whole thing and that's why I'm like terrified to take the whole thing I've been there before I, I don't really actually like the feeling and in, in some cases so yesterday I took a small small amount it didn't really affect me I took about double today but it was still less than half of a pill and I would say that it didn't really have a crazy effect like I anticipated it to so today for example um, I didn't feel hunger I I would say that I forgot about food for the majority of the day the time that my hunger was spiked was times that I was you know on social media and came across like a food video or saw like a food ad it's unbelievable how when you start fasting you notice how much food and food advertising is like in our faces. It's quite insane just how much of it there is out there. I did not go to the gym today and that's because the gym was closed. It's Easter Sunday. I could have gone out for a walk, but I thought it'd be best just to rest because I wanted to do kind of like a dry fast. So personally, my, my preference is to, before I go into a dry fast, like clean out my intestines as much as possible because I typically feel bloated and your intestines will dry up and you won't really pass anything through during that period of time. So I was planning on doing that, but I took some tea a couple days ago. That really didn't work. Um, I'm th I was thinking about taking it again today, but then again, I've been kind of dry fasting for the last uh, seven hours and I'm thinking that I could usually go to bed and just dry fast throughout the night. So I'm thinking of actually doing that and then I'll probably have the tea in the morning just because I didn't work out today, I thought it, you know, in replacement of that, I'll go ahead and just do a dry fast. Um, I did, I sat in the sauna for about 30 minutes today. And for those of you that have an infrared sauna, I'll go ahead and put a link below to the one that I use. I got on Amazon. It's quite inexpensive, $200. I love it. Um, when I don't have it, I miss it. And so I personally really enjoy it. And one thing I have noticed is it's really easy to go for the full hour in the sauna when I have a fan in my face. But then it almost feels too easy after some time and you feel like you're not sweating as much as you should be. And if you want to change that around, it's really, really simple. Turn off the AC, turn off the fan, and just sit there. And it is so challenging just to go through 30 minutes. Um, I did experience some dizziness actually for the first time just a few moments ago. I kind of got up too quickly and um, I would say that I definitely didn't black out completely, but I would say like, 85% of my vision was blacked out. It lasted usually about five seconds. That's normal. I did get up very abruptly, and so that makes sense. Uh, I always, you know, I just haven't thought of it because it's been a while since I fasted, but just being really intentional when you just sit up, get up, it'll be very, very beneficial. 
and you kind of maybe want to get up and hold on to something because if you kind of like walk you might get dizzy you might faint you might pass out so it's kind of nice to be close to something when you get up and like have something to hold on to whether it's a wall or a couch or whatever so I would say definitely be intentional what else have I experienced during this so I'm actually really looking forward to the cold aspect of fasting I'm two days in and I really haven't experienced any coldness yet last night sort of I, I did when I was outside just sitting on my porch reading but today I haven't and it's just been so warm in the Caribbean here and then especially because like having more pounds I don't have any science to back it up but it feels like the thicker I am the hotter I get so uh, I'm just always running hot and especially after I eat so and it just feels extra hot here in the Caribbean but I would just say it's because I was eating more and definitely packed on more pounds so I'm actually really looking forward to getting cold during this fast Hopefully that comes sooner than later, I'm 48 hours in, haven't experienced a coldness yet, but I'm really looking forward to it. I'm curious to see because, you know, everyone always talks about hitting the 72 hour mark and how after that there's no more hunger, there's no like wanting food, but I did, you know, have that, uh, not my big long fast, but a short, a shorter fast I completed a couple months back. It was like four, four and a half days. and. On day four like that's what made me break it was I was absolutely experiencing the hunger the hunger was was there so I'm curious to see if it's gonna go away after today um, or if it's going to linger around so that's pretty much I have all I have for today on my update uh, on the second day of my seven day long fast if you're joining me leave a comment below um, like I said my plan moving forward is to drive fast throughout the night when I get up in the morning I'll probably have some detox tea to kind of clean myself out and then carry on with hopefully a dry fast but I'm gonna have to probably switch up I'm gonna see how long I could go doing two hours of steady state cardio and dry fasting because I know that'll give me um, the results that I want rather quickly and it's just a fun way to test myself so that's all I have for you today on day two of this fast as always I hope that you have an absolutely amazing day and go out there and create a life that you love